Hi, my name is Sherry Corhonan, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2018. I went through many surgeries, and I completed my treatment, and I'm doing really well now. Being diagnosed with cancer was extremely difficult, and uh, my boyfriend and my close friends stuck by me, and they were there for me, and um, I learned how to ask for help, and they were there when I needed them. I feel really fortunate to have gotten my treatment from Oshner Hospital at the Tansy Breast Center. All of my doctors were amazing. Dr. Corsetti, Dr. Zampel, Dr. Theo, Dr. Theodosis, and Dr. LaPere. All of them helped me and even uh, Dr. Kruger, my gynecologist. Everybody worked as a team and helped me get through my treatment and um, I even uh, and even my social worker, my counselor, she was amazing and uh, they all worked really great to help me. And I hope you enjoy my story. I can still remember how happy I was as a kid. I remember feeling very optimistic, hopeful, and eager to try new things. In kindergarten, I made the local newspaper for winning a Draw Your Mom contest. I was always busy making mud pies, sewing clothes for my dolls, or coloring and painting for hours on end. In third grade, my parents divorced and both remarried, complicating my life, adding new step-parents, brothers, and sisters. To escape the chaos at home, I quickly became a super overachiever participating in as many outside projects as I could. Creating art became a way for me to express my thoughts and feelings. I had my first public art showing in high school featuring a mural that I painted in one of the classrooms. Color theory teaches that black is the absence of color and white is all colors combined. So although I dressed in black as a punk teenager, the abstract images on the walls of my mural shined bright with vibrant colors. College taught me that the beauty of art can also be seen through the prism of history and culture. I loved my job on campus, sewing elaborate costumes for the Lyric Opera Theater. During summer break, I backpacked on my own through Europe, visiting over 17 countries in three months. I train hopped from the Picasso Museum in Barcelona to the Louvre in Paris, from the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam to the Vatican in Rome. The world was my oyster and I was finding inspiration everywhere I looked. Just like in art though, there are periods of enlightenment and times of darkness. My dad died in a car accident a week before my 21st birthday. Losing my dad hit me hard and my paintings started to depict dark gray thunderclouds. So after graduation, I decided to move across the country from Phoenix, where I grew up, to New Orleans, where I had never been. I needed a blank canvas to start again. The skies cleared for me in New Orleans, where I discovered the cultural and artistic freedom to enjoy my career as a production designer and art director in the film industry. My future looked bright. However, the storm clouds returned in 2005. Like so many of my friends and family, I lost everything in Hurricane Katrina. It took many years of sitting in the dark to figure out how to rebuild my life again and how to process my feelings of loss and grief. And then, just when my paintbrush started to have color on it again, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. This is not the mural that I would have painted for my life. So, as an artist, I am choosing to envision a new self-portrait that focuses on what I have rather than what I have lost. Programs like Unite and Scar Art are encouraging me to use my color palette again. I am starting to replace black with the strength of cobalt blue and the courage of yellow ochre. I'm reminded that if I mix ultramarine blue and crimson red, I get my favorite shade of purple. The beautiful landscape of my life is now shaded with the perseverance and resilience of emerald green. I have gratitude in my heart. 
By shifting my perspective, the sun is now shining bright in the center of my canvas, illuminating and renewing the optimism and hope I once had as a child.